Thanks for joining us, Matt. I appreciate it. Good to be here. You and your team have created an amazing story map. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Give us some background. It's a company called Amazon put out a uh, request for proposals. Now, for Amazon, what do they do? Are they a forestry <laughs> oh, yes. company? They are in the e-commerce okay. uh, business. When they put out their uh, request for proposals for an HQ2 for a city to host them, they invited cities to participate and tell their story. And so we worked with the greater Washington area to tell its story. And it made a lot of sense to do that through a map, through a story map. We investigated it with data, so we used ArcGIS to investigate it with data. It's a very strong story, and we just wove that together into a narrative, and a story map was a really good way to present that. What kind of data did you include? Can we take a look at some of that, um, sure. some of those maps? Sure. One of the first things they wanted to know about was the housing. When people think about Washington, D.C., they don't necessarily think about affordable housing. Affordable housing, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we looked in terms of the uh, stability of the housing market. We looked at both from an ownership and a rental standpoint, and when we get to the area about housing affordability, what you can see on the map is that West Coast is very red and the East Coast is less red. And this particular data, which is a great data source from, from ESRI within the Living Atlas, compares median household income to median housing prices. And so it's a way to filter out what that affordability is. In getting all of this data on maps, um, did you discover anything that was unexpected? Did you see any patterns that you weren't really already aware of? One of the things we looked at was the location of Amazon customers. So this is where specifically people who've ordered from Amazon.com oh, wow. okay. right in the last 12 months. So this came out of the SRE Geo Enrichment Service and is data that's there and we, we looked at it comparing all the uh, major metropolitan areas around the country and you see we're the brightest red on there. So 40% or more of the people in our region use Amazon. We took some Google search information and looked at you know who searched for AWS and, and so getting out of that consumer side of things but more of what kind of businesses are using some of Amazon's online services and West Coast very strong of course but in the East Coast we just popped out as a, as a leader there as well. And we thought about how to build that narrative because you know for any company to locate their headquarters they, they're thinking about their employees, where are they going to live, how are they going to get to work, uh, what's the quality of life around it and, and also how can we attract talent, is there enough talent in the area and is it the right fit? We used a uh, style of mapping called Firefly mapping and we took some census data about where people live and work and we pulled it together and it just showed this vast community from which people commute into the greater Washington area and I mean honestly when we put this onto a map this was one of those we all said like wow that's that's an amazing story. I love this map. So. I love this story but I love this map. We knew other people would be making maps about their community for, for this and you know we were tasked by the a regional council of governments to put the best foot forward uh, so we raised the bar as high as we could. Well we're rooting for you. Thank you so much for joining us and showing us your beautiful and very informative story map and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you Matt.